Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all had a fantastic week. Happy Friday. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different on my Friday favorites. It was suggested by one of you guys um, to do, to show these products in action. So I thought it was a fun idea. I see get ready with me's using Friday favorites or monthly favorites sometimes, but I used all these products today. So I'm going to insert clips of me using them. That way you can see how they apply, how they blend, everything like that. But these are my weekly favorites and let me know as always in the comments below what you guys are loving this week. If you watched my video on Wednesday, I do have kind of a cold. I'm on antibiotics, so my voice is a little bit funky. So anyways, let's go ahead and get started. And let me tell you, because my throat was hurting so bad this week, I have fallen hardcore in love with this tea. So I go through phases. I will drink hot tea and then I'll move to coffee and then I'll move to hot cocoa and then I'll just not have any thing hot and then now I'm back to tea. I, I think hot tea feels so good on my throat. So this is the best tea. Seriously, I'm so obsessed with it right now. It's called Harney and Sons Fine Teas. If you follow me on Snapchat, I show you guys this tea all the time. Um, it is found at Target and it's in this really cute little tin. Something's wrong with like the light. It's making me look super dark today. Maybe I need to scoot up. Let's scoot up. Okay, I got a little bit closer, so hopefully that helps. But this is the Hot Cinnamon Sunset. So my favorite candy in the whole world is Cinnamon Bears. Um, and then the Fire Jolly Ranchers. I like hot tamales, anything really, really hot like that, I like. This tastes like a Cinnamon Fire Jolly Rancher. It's so good and it's so soothing on your throat. It's black tea with cinnamon, orange, and sweet cloves. And I just put a squirt of stevia in it and it is so, so, so good. It has really helped my throat this week. And I don't think it's that expensive. This is my second box, but I got them as gifts. So I need to go actually purchase this, but I know it's at my local Target. So, and I'm pretty sure they have tons of different flavors. So, the next thing I wanted to mention is these. And I hauled these recently on Wednesday. They are the Eco Tools Color Perfecting Minis. If you watched that haul, I told you guys of anything that I hauled in that video, get these. Now, this is it fully puffed up. It is a beauty sponge that you blend out your concealer with. And it is amazing. It feels exactly like the Beauty Blender material. Um, it feels, it's identical, honestly. And I love that it has this flat edge so you can get into your under eyes really, really easy. And it, they weren't that expensive. I found them at my local Walmart. So happy. I need to open it because I can alternate between the four of them. But the next thing as far as face, let's talk about this bronzer. It's so pretty and it's not a bronzer at all. So this is, I do like this product a lot, but this is more of like a tip that I've done this week. Any um, powder foundation that is in a darker shade than you is really pretty to bronze up your face because it's made as a face powder. It's gonna be really, you know, it's gonna add some coverage in those areas, but it's also going to look like a natural skin finish. This is the Laura Geller Balance and Brighten Foundation in Tan. And I'm so glad I got this. I got this in a little set and I already had this foundation in Fair. So I was like, I'm gonna get it in tan and bronze my face with it and I love it. I have a MAC MSF Natural that I used it for the same thing. But this Laura Geller one is a really good formula. Now the brush I've been loving with it is this Real Techniques Contour Brush. I've wanted this for years and Real Techniques sent me this through a website called Octoly. They sent me a full set and this is definitely the best brush in the set. This, the set was all of these purple, you know, handles with the black and white, which is really, really cute. Um, but they do sell this brush separately. It's their contour brush. It just place it, 
places it in the perfect spot. It blends it really pretty, so I definitely love this little combo for my bronzers this week. And then I reached for Becca's Songbird as a blush a couple times this week, mainly because I've been liking this warm orange on my eyes, and um, Becca's Songbird just kind of goes with that. It's kind of a really warmy, warmy, warm peachy blush color. This formula is really great, but you have to be careful. As you can see in the demo, I went straight ham with my brush. Actually, I didn't. I tapped it in there one or two times, and then I forgot to tap it off, and it applied a lot of pigment. But it blends out, and it's a beautiful pigmented blush, and it does last all day. And it's really blendable, so I definitely liked that this week. The next thing that I have been loving probably for the past at least month now is this mascara. I just keep forgetting to mention it. I know I keep mentioning lash primers, lash primers, because I fell in love hard with lash primers recently, but as far as the mascara goes, I'm going to apply this on one eye in the demo, and there's no lash primer on my lashes. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Lashes Mascara, and it is so good. I would venture to say it's my favorite formula of mascara that I've ever tried. It reminds me of the Le Volume de Chanel, and also the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. So if you like that kind of more wet formula, but lasts and builds and makes your like lashes so voluminous, try the Charlotte Tilbury one. I know it's a little bit expensive, but it's a really good formula. So the last two products are lip products, and these are things that I just found I really, really thoroughly loved this week. This is the YSL Lip Oil, and it's in the color 3, and I believe it's called Pink About Me. These are so good. I also kind of used the Lancome Juicy Shaker. It's another lip oil this week. Just lip oils in general, but this one's really pretty because it does actually leave behind kind of a pinky stain on your lips, which is really pretty. So I apply this in the mornings like as I sit down to start my makeup and by the time I'm done with my makeup it's kind of sunken in and it's gave my lips a little bit more pigmentation and then I can apply my lip liner and lipstick and all that other stuff but I also like to place this kind of on over my lips throughout the day just because it's a good nourishing treatment for your lips so I did love this now listen Milani has some lip oils if you're just looking for moisturization just get the Milani lip oils they're really really good but these do the YSL ones do kind of leave a tint so that's kind of what I like about it my, I swear my lips are losing pigmentation I'm pretty sure it comes with age I'm 35 now so I think everything's starting to fall apart at this point. But um, the very last thing is something, this has kind of been a favorite of mine back and forth for years now. It's a staple, like I'm sure if I said it's a MAC lipstick, you guys would probably, this would be one of your guesses, but it is Myth. Now it is very, it's a very, 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 very nude shade on your lips. Um, but I found this week, applying a pinker lip liner to the outer edges of my lips and then kind of blending it in with Max Myth is a really pretty color. So today for reference, I used the new Wet n Wild Gel Lip Liner and this one's in the color Never Petal Down. I did finally get my Wet n Wild order, so be, look, be on the lookout for a video using a lot of cruelty-free drugstore, makeup, wet and wild, all kinds of fun stuff, but I did use this lip liner today with MAC Myth, and it's so, so pretty. But even before I got that, I was reaching for MAC Myth just using other pinky-toned lip liners, but it's really, really pretty, and if you put on a super bold lip and you want to take it down a notch, Myth is yo girl. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's Friday Favorites. Let me know in the comments below if you like the format of this video because it wasn't, I mean, I was putting on makeup anyways, so it wasn't that hard to film. So please, please, please tell me below what you think about this format, if it is super helpful for you to see the products in action, etc. And have a great weekend. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. So if you are, you, if you, two months ago, I just keep forgetting to mention it is fun? Yeah. It's math and it's fun? What? Mm-mm. We can't. We gotta learn that. Let's try it like this.